Hello everyone, welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Vancouver, Washington. Thank you for joining me today. Today we have a really cool little project, but before we get started, you'll find all the dimensions and all the product I use listed below. You'll find a link to my online store if you need a Stamping Up demonstrator. Please consider using me, I'd love to help you. Uh, there is my email address, if you have any questions, you can send me an email. And there is a link to my Facebook group and we'd love to have you join us. And finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel to help me grow in YouTube world. And if you ring the little bell, you'll be notified next time I upload a new video. I have paper sitting in front of you and I've actually zoomed in a little bit so you can see it. Now this paper, this is the 22 20 through 2024 in colors. And I put them out here to show you the different designs. There's polka dots. This is Tahitian Tides. This is Orchid Oasis, which has flowers. This one is Starry Sky, which has the check. This one is Percupy with, with uh, dots again. And this is Sweet Sorbet, which has the stripes. The reason I point this out is every color family has these same patterns and they're double-sided, so like the stripes have flowers and the polka dots have the plaid. Um, just that they are six by six and you can buy a whole palette package and you get four of each sheet. So you have lots of options. And I wanted to show you that because we're gonna be using this today. We are going to be using, I'm gonna show you one that came out of the Brides collection and then one out of this collection and we're making a parakeet party version of this today. And what we are making is, I set this aside, we are making mini, let me back this back out here a little bit. We are making mini Easter baskets for table favors, or you could just give them as a little gift. They're decorated. We have flowers on this one. It says Happy Easter. This has Easter eggs and has Happy Easter on this side. You could put anything you want on. Um, we're going to be using, for the die for these pieces, we are using the stylish shape dies. And we are gonna be using the two squares here. And they are, have a stitch on them, which I really love. And we'll be using those two. But this is a really nice set. I know it's been back ordered quite a bit this year. Um, it was back in stock, so I finally got mine. <laughs> I have to wait like everybody else. So that's what we're using to make this portion. And I'm gonna show you how to make these. They're really, really simple, but we're gonna make this one out of Parakeet Party. This is Daffodil Delight, Tahitian Tide. And I use plaid on this one, flowers on this one. I believe we're going to use polka dots on the, I think, or we're using plaid. No, we're using plaid, sorry, we're using plaid. Couldn't remember which one I cut up. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to make these cute little, they're, they're made out of cardstock, so they've got some body to them, so they, will hold up, but they're not too big. Um, they are about two inches wide. And if you go out to point to point, it's four inches. So it won't take up a lot of space on your table. Or you could have these as, you know, people are leaving and they could just take a little gift as they're going, whichever. Um, you know, Easter dinners are very popular and I know that a lot of people have a get together at Easter, but you don't have to use these just for Easter. Um, Mother's Day has always been a big popular time for a lot of families to get together and have get out if it's weather's nice, not usually here, but um, you go out and have a Mother's Day get together and you can make little party favors for that. Uh, these make great bridal shower party favor gifts. You just decorate them a little different. Don't say Happy Easter and put florals or something else on there, okay? So lots of use for them and they sort of stack inside of each other for storage. <laughs> so. Let's do our stamping first. So I'm gonna grab some pieces off to the side here. And you are going to need two pieces of white, approximately four, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Mine are not, I mean, this one's actually, or two and a quarter, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, you know, approximately. What you need is something that you can stamp and still use that die to cut it. So it's not much paper. And we're gonna bring that die out for a reason. 
because we need to make sure when we set up our pieces to be stamped that they fit inside of this. So I know this one's gonna go across here. So if I go angle this across, I'm gonna put my little, this one I'm gonna do eggs again. So like that, straight across. Now this one I did not, I've just got them sitting here. As you well know, I have dissected my Happy Easter. And once again, I'm gonna use it in that manner. So what I wanna do, since this is such a small die, I wanna set this, get a rough idea where I'm going. So right about there, and I'm gonna tuck the Easter right up close to it. Try to keep them straight, and I'm putting them at an angle on my paper because I'm using such a small piece. And I'm gonna take this and look at it and say, yep, it'll all fit inside. Then I'll pick this up. And I don't need that. We're going to stamp this in Parakeet Party. But yeah, sometimes if you're using a small die, you need to just sort of use the die to make sure that what you're gonna put in it fits. So there's our happy Easter. Now we're gonna do a quick color job on our eggs. I've grabbed some real basic colors I've got. This is light daffodil. I'm getting a little bleeding. I didn't wait long enough, but that's okay. And this is the dark daffodil. And this is light balmy blue. Yeah, make sure you let your memento dry a little longer. You get a little bleeding if you don't. And this is the dark. You probably see me do this a couple other times because I think that's sort of cool getting different colors. And then this is the light flirty flamingo. And this is the dark. Like I said, I went real basic on the coloring here. You didn't come to see me color, you came to see how to make this little basket. So, grab my stamp cut and emboss machine. And my little die. Now, you either cut the corners of this so you can send it through on an angle, or you don't and do it this way, which I'm fine doing that. Sort of line it up the best you can in the center. And send that one through. stitched this one he is going to go like right if you look at that it is right to the edge of those but it, it it is inside it doesn't look like it but it is it's right to the edge And once again, I put my plates. You need to stagger your plates a little bit or your machine turns into a little cranky. <laughs> I'm 
-hmm. does it work? So if you have problems with your machine and it doesn't go through, it's because you haven't staggered your plates. And like I said, if it just fits in there with the uh, stitching all around. So let's get this out of our way. And the reason I say that is I've already cut out the parakeet party pieces that these go on. And you need approximately two and a quarter by two and a quarter piece to cut those out. So just basically scraps. Okay, so we're going to set all of this aside and get on with the baking of the box. You need a piece of par keep party cardstock that is five by five. Please tell me that this is square. I guess it is. It's just an optical illusion. I thought it wasn't square for a second. It still doesn't look square. Just one moment. Does anybody else have anything they've ever done something that doesn't look square to them? It is. Okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> I just thought it wasn't, sorry. Okay, so you can do this on the scoreboard or you can do this on your trimmer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the trimmer. Now, <clears throat> you need to score this five and by five, five inch piece at five and five, one and five eighths on all four sides. You cannot, there's no, you know, lots of times they'll say score two and then two and you know, you can do two and four. This one you have to do each side separately. So, so that's one and five eighths. This is one and five eighths. One and five eighths. And one and five eighths. This paper is not square. You guys see what I'm looking at here? I kept on saying it looked like an optical illusion. When I folded the paper, I realized it is not square. That side is, but this side is off. So if you're gonna excuse me for one moment, there is no way to fix that basket. So I need to grab a piece of paper. As I, you know, I don't edit my videos and I'm not going to uh, start over. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Maybe I cut something before. It does happen. I thought it looked off and then I started scoring and I realized it wasn't really truly off. So. Okay, we're back to a five and five inch by five five by five piece. We're going to score at one and five eighths on all four sides. Like I said, these things happen. You use a piece of paper you cut previously, didn't realize you would cut it in an angle and thought it was straight. That's probably what's happened. Because this is a small piece, so I probably grabbed a scrap. Okay, so now we start folding this. We can see, and you know it will not it will not come straight to it because it's not exactly square, and you will see that by the measurements that are the pieces that go on this in just a few minutes. So let's fold and burnish. Sorry about that, but it does happen. Okay, so we have nine little boxes not all equal though this one this one this one and this one are the same and this one this one and this one and this one are the same <laughs> and the center one is different as well so i'm gonna grab my snips it doesn't matter which side you choose you're gonna just choose you're gonna cut straight up the score line that's on that one 
flip it around on the opposite side and cut straight up the score line. The other side would you not cut or you'll have pieces of paper, not a Easter basket. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Now, while this is still down and we haven't built the box, we need to decorate our box. Now, I've actually cut the pieces and I put them in li these little sleeves. You guys know I use the sleeves. I don't get rid of them. And the reason I did this is because you have four pieces that are one and five eighths by one and a half. And then you have four pieces that are one and a half by one and a half. So I'll start with the one and a half. Grab this and I think I'm gonna grab my seal. We're starting to get along a little better. I just gotta get used to it. So you could change and have polka dots, but I wanted the plaid. I like the plaid. Okay, so these that are one and a half by one and a half go on the four corners. These are just slightly different. They're one and five eighths by one and a half. And those are going on these four pieces. Now you could make this out of just DSP and not decorate it um, like I am, but I wanted a sturdy box this year. Now. When you put these on, the half inch piece is here. This is one and five eighths. The width is what's longer. So look carefully before you uh, commit to where the paper's going. just like that. Okay, and while we're decorating, and before we hook this together, we have another piece to put together. This is for our <clears throat> handle of our basket. It's seven inches by three and a quarter. And then this is six inches by a half inch, and I know you're saying, but it doesn't go clear to the end. And that's true, it doesn't but it will work just fine. And I'll show you how in a minute. And I'm gonna use my grid here because I want to try to get this in the center as close as possible. And I'm gonna come in about a half inch. Put that in the center. So I got about a half an inch to be side because you have that nice square that's gonna go on the end and that will cover this up, okay? So now it's time to hook the box back, <clears throat> hook the basket together. So it's gonna fold up like this. And so I want about this much of a gap here. I wanna try to leave these as even as I can, okay? So I know that I can put glue on these two corners here. And yes, I'm using glue. Um, I want the ability to move it around a little bit. And it doesn't matter which side goes in. Try to leave it as, you know, these as even as possible. I'll hold that for a second. We're going to add a little more glue to this in a minute. I just want enough to hold it there. Same thing here. Glue on this corner. And glue on this corner. Now you got this one to look at. You can look at the others too to see how well you're doing. You can see if you're pretty close. Doesn't have to be precise, but close. Okay. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm just going to squirt a little glue. Oop, that was a little too much glue. It's okay, it won't hurt it. I'm just going to put a little more glue in right in that little open area here. Just makes it a little more secure. Now we'll put our handle on. Take your bone folder for your handle and just give it a little, probably two or three times, just to give it a little bend. And then you're gonna put this handle on so it comes down right about here on both sides. And try to get it as straight as possible. So you can put the glue on the inside about a half inch, three quarters. Hook one side, flip it around and hook the other. <laughs> yeah, it's close enough. Hold that for just a second. Okay. Next is our little triangles here. So I'm gonna put the Easter one on. Mount him in there. These have nice big borders. And the eggs. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to mount these here. You want to make sure that your corner doesn't come over the end. So you know where your glue space is. You've got a lot of glue space. Basically. Now just remember you got a little area that doesn't close here at the top. So because of the handle. So you've got a lot of glue space there to hook it to. For a second, make sure it's adhered before you move on. Just like that. And then make sure I've got my eggs going the right direction. So basically I'm making sort of like a little V with my glue. Lining it up with the lid and these and the bottom and holding it. So that is our little egg basket. I let these sit for an hour or two before you fill them up so the glue could dry. But yeah, that is my mini egg basket for a party favor. Um, like I said, you could use this basket for all kinds of parties, De redecorate it um, for any season. You know, you could use this for Halloween. It's good for everything. You know, baskets work all the time. So let me bring in the other colors because you can see them. So we have different colors there. So hope you all try my mini egg basket. And I will see you next week. Gosh, it's March 31st. It's the end of March. It's hard to believe that, but it is. So I guess I'll see you in April. Have a nice weekend. And remember, tomorrow is April Fool's Day. Keep your eyes open. Have a nice weekend. Goodbye.